Hello everybody, welcome to episode 24 of the Tamagotchi Connection series here. As you see, we are still in the fancy setup. We got the fancy lighting. No one's commented on if I should change anything yet. So, everything's going pretty well currently. The only issue is this character right here is becoming a bit of a fatty because I'm lazy and don't bother with playing the minigame. So, the joys... But I figured, since we do have the more fancy lighting in here now, let's, first actually, let's clean up their poops. So first off, let's show off that full animation right there. He's just excited, love the little hands in the air and everything. Now for this run, I probably plan to marry them off together, so I feel like that would be like the proper move to do. Um, training on both of them, I think, is done now, actually, which... Whoop. Yeah, training on both of them is done now. This one stays up for an extra hour, so I need to actually desperately do his training. Or not training, uh, work him out or whatever. It's just a pain because this one takes so long to get like down to back to the perfect weight compared to this one, where if you look at this one, he is currently at 54 because I'm lazy. But besides the whole like lazy and being at work thing, um, uh, his mini games are super easy to get sit down and go through because all of his are like very short and like not that interesting. Well, they are very interesting. I mean, short and like quick to do. But I see there we got a bunch of random items. Uh, nothing good I'd say for right now. I was hoping there would be like an item in the shop because I do have uh, a bit more money saved up now. But while we're at it. Let's do a connection. Of course, we have to pick version one. And of course, we will do that. And there you go, they are connected. And there you go, he's gonna pop over to the other side. I like how it says away on this side, like a little hang sound. Oh, he's gonna give a gift, let's see. What's our gift? Okay, he's gonna hop back into the other side. Oh, it's just a full-on present. I haven't had, oh, it's ice cream. He's gonna eat that ice cream. I wonder if that's gonna make him fatter. That actually might what have made him fatter in the first place, actually. Let's see, does that increase his weight? No, it does not, okay. No, it's just my laziness then. But while we're at it, let's do a game. Uh, we'll do heading. I don't know why, I really like this game. It's just something about, it's like... It is. It does have some delay to it, but this just feels like way more of a Tamagotchi type game, I guess you can say. I do enjoy Bump, but Bump has like too many factors into it to make it like sort of enjoyable in a way. And then the other game, Jump, is. I should be better at this one for how many rhythm games I play, but like I kind of suck at this one. Mostly because of the first impact. Oh crap. Dang it, I messed this one up. Okay. Got the last one at least. Get your little bit of money, because I messed up the whole entire game trying to explain it. But, like, that one's pretty easy, because, like, you can time it out, and it's all just about luck, pretty much. So you can just sit here and, like, see if I can pull this off properly. Dang it. Okay, I'm not doing this well today, but... You can, like, jump really far out there. I've done it before. But that's like the one mini game where it's like I don't know if I could be good at it or not because it's just it's just pure random. You could get the last one solid, but like you can't really get the uh... oh crap. There you go. He did a bit of a jump. You know I messed that up extremely. Yeah, uh, no three P. But that one like actually lets you like lose your weight very quickly which is a really nice aspect to it because you can always get it to sort of get out of the way it doesn't make you lose a lot of weight quickly because i think you're supposed to do uh, i think if you do slightly better let's see if i can get at least two of the points down dang it i messed up already Ugh. So you have to be exactly on time, and that's, like, one of the things. 
Like, I wish there was, like, a, a sort of, like, music thing that played towards it, instead of just, like, the one single beep. Like, some sort of anticipation, like a da 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 or whatever, I don't know. That may be, that probably would make it too easy or something like that, but I feel like there's ways to, like, somehow make that game a bit better to go through. And then Bump is just still Bump. I don't like that game too much. It's annoying and a pain in the butt. But for this one, he is doing fine. And of course, on this side, we still have this wonderful guy right here, which... His background's pretty dark, I don't, I, or I think the contrast is different on both of them. Yeah, it is. There is a way to change contrast. I think I forget which one it is. Is it... That's not up. Dang. Uh, not that. I'm trying to remember how to change contrast on this device. A and B is pause. C and B. Nope. And C. Nope, keep that on. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can change the contrast on this one or not. You can on the uh, later ones. I think you could do it on this one too. Let's see. If I press... Okay, maybe I don't know the contrast code. Because I was... Let's see. That's sound. And then... That's not going to help me. Okay, let's see if I can do this properly. That's pause. Maybe contrast was introduced in the later ones. I feel like you could do contrast, though. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's something you could change. But in this setup, it doesn't matter, because you can see them pretty well, no matter what. There you go, yeah. Just, then you just need to shift him slightly over to one angle. Uh, this guy I just need to do training on. So let's do a thing of dan or jump. I'm still not good at dance. Mostly because I'm not good at memory managing games or whatever, so I can't sit there and be like, my memory is great with this, because it's not. At most, the I think the only time I ever completed dance was when I took out a sheet of paper and wrote down the combos. Because, like, you can sit down and just write them down. And I guess I could do that one day on here. I've been in this game a bunch of times before, I just never do it on camera, because I'm doing it through, like, a weird angle and stuff like that. And you'd be surprised. It may look great on camera, but in my, like, personal view, I just see, like, a faint shadow of things. So I have to look down at the viewfinder and hope my viewfinder isn't lagging behind, which today it isn't. It's actually doing pretty decently. But I just have to remember to, like, keep up with, like, internal, like, brain settings here when doing this game. But overall, we are doing pretty well, I'd say. I don't know if I'll keep running this device for a while. This might be like the last run for a bit for this device. I don't know. Back and forth on how I want to do it. I think the next run might be an old person run. Like I'm getting closer to like that standpoint because I feel like I've gone through all the content that the V1 can offer. And I still have a lot to do on the V2 so it's like I can see where things go. But... I want to keep both of them side to side. I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking on how I want to do it. In July, we will be switching over to, what is it, the uh, V3 re-release, though. So, these do have save functions in them, so I can just turn them off and come back to them later on. So, that is a really nice function of these devices. So, if we are in the midst of a run, then I can pause it and move on to the next thing. Or we'll see if I can finish the run in that time. Because that's another possibility I could do, is just see if I can finish the run. Which is probably the best solution, I could say, towards that whole situation. Oh, I messed up. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how I want to keep up with these devices. Because I feel like I'm running out of content with this one to do for, like, this series. And, like, the original plan was to, like, swap over to, like, another one. But, uh... I want to see all the connection aspects of these guys first before I swap over to the Entama. And then we still have so much to do on this device because we haven't even bought, like, a single item yet. Because I bought food items, but I haven't bought, like, a main item yet. Because I have not seen a main item today, but... Besides a jar, which I don't know how that jar will affect us. 
I need to see if I can go through Bump a bunch of times, because Bump does offer you a lot of money. It's just the game is not that great, and it takes forever to do anything. So it's one of those type things where it's like, eh. But for right now, that's pretty much it for these two. So thank you all for watching. Sorry for the weird rambly episode, I guess. I just had a lot to say about these guys. I don't know why I did, but... For right now, we'll be running these two for a while. Till I come up with since our... Well, I want to explore all the functions of this guy. And then on this side, I think I might be able to get like two more runs out of it. I don't know. I feel like this one's starting to get tiring in a way to in like my own perspective. So I feel like I could get like maybe like one or two more runs out of it. But then after that, we'll switch over to probably V2 only, so we can learn about all of its secrets. And then, if we still have space between July or whatever like that, I might... Uh, let's see. I do have a Tama package coming in, so we will have a few more Tamas for the connection line, actually. If not, we also have the N-Tama, which I can run as well. And then we have, of course, the V3 re-release in July, so... There's a few options to go through. I uh, guess it just depends on where stuff comes in and stuff like that. So, yay! Because this Tamagotchi Connection series will go through pretty much every one of the connection lines from English and Japanese. So, enjoy all the aspects of that. But for right now, thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye!